Hi everyone, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Today's video, I'm doing an 8x10 canvas. And I'll be using Apple Barrel Bright Blue with a touch of metallic, aquamarine, royal gold, and my base coat is black. Uh, I think I'm going to do an acrylic Dutch pour, a uh, dirty cut method. And I think I'm going to start with blue. I think you can see me pouring on me. Let me make an adjustment here. Oh, and some other thing. Let me make sure you stay in focus here. I think I got it. Alright. Well, I always leave them sticks in there and they just tend to get in my way. I've put silicone, the three-in-one oil, in the blue and also the aquamarine. This will be the first canvas I poured that I've used silicone on and I'm going to see if I like it or not. I know you have to let them dry for about a month. And then you have to wash it about three times. And then you gotta let it dry really well before you can seal it. So I'm gonna, it's kind of an experiment, I guess you could say. See if that's something I like or not. Something I would be willing to deal with. I hope everyone's doing well. See, this should be about it right here. Save a little of this gold in case I need it for some reason. Let's take this stick here and just mix it a little. Put an X in it. Hmm. I don't know if I want to dump it or if I want to pour it. I think I'm just going to pour it. See if I can pour it real close. See what we can come up with. I don't have a very steady hand. <laughs> you 
here's some noise in the background. That's my heater. I just cut on and it makes a little noise once in a while. Forgot to turn it down before I started. So. Okay, I'm going to torch this. You already got cells popping in it. Kind of neat. I always like when that does that, but it always gets poured off. Alright, let's see here. I think I'm just going to tilt it. I really got to get me some gloves for this. I hate this black paint. It just, it just gets everywhere. Yeah, I can see the silicone sitting in spots. I'm not sure, but I would think that the silicone sits on top, rises to the top, so... Probably going to get all poured off. I said I've never used it on a on a canvas before. Kind of neat though. Trying to decide which way I want to dump. I think some more paint needs to come off there. Always kills me just to dump all the pretty stuff off. Get rid of that big clump of blue. Pretty big was just quite too much, I think. Now if I can just get some of it back. quite pretty. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can see a big big spot of silicone actually in the in the very center. That could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing I guess. I'm going to try and set it back down without messing it up. Oh gosh, my hands. <laughs> they are a mess. I've got to stop using black paint. I just really like black though. 
That's a number two hands though. I'm gonna torch this and see what it does. It kind of looks pretty neat. I can still see a lot of the gold in it. I like that. I always like the gold. I can see a lot of dimples in it. That's that's the silicone. It does have a pretty effect though. Really pretty. I, I really like that. Where the black shows through. Pretty neat, pretty neat. I like that. Of course, when it's time to wash it, I might not like it so much, but we'll see. I'm going to bring you down a little bit where you can see it a little better. I don't know if I can adjust it. Let me see. That's better there. Kind of a lot of the, the gold and the blue has the metallic in it so hopefully it'll dry pretty uh, it's pretty now I'm sure it'll keep changing as it dries Well, I, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I thank you for hanging out with me, watching me paint. Until next time.